Hello everyone and welcome to ROS2 and MoveIt2 tutorials. In this MoveIt2 tutorial, we explain how to load a graphical representation of a robot from a command line. For simplicity, we use a predefined robot launch file from the official MoveIt2 tutorials. Then, we explain how to adjust the RV setting such that you can properly visualize and move the robot in the joint mode as well as linearly as you can see for example over here. We then explain how to perform motion planning and how to properly visualize and simulate robot intermediate states. In this tutorial we explain how to manually or graphically move the robot and in our future tutorials we explain how to write C++ programs for moving the robot. But before we start with explanations I need to mention the following. If you are an engineer or a student and you want to improve your robotics, programming, control, machine learning and ROS knowledge and skills, we can help you with that. We provide professional skill development and tutoring services. Also, if you need professional engineering help with your robotics, control, machine learning, computer vision or similar industry problems, we are here to help. We have more than 15 years of industry and research experience. In addition, we have significant research and teaching experience at the top universities in Europe and the United States. Contact information is provided below this video. To be able to reproduce everything explained in this tutorial, the following two conditions have to be satisfied. Number one, you need Ubuntu 22.04 and ROS2 Humble. Number two, you need to install MoveIt2 for ROS2 by building the source code. This is explained in our previous tutorial. I provided a link to that tutorial in the description below and you need to carefully watch the tutorial and implement all the steps in order to build MoveIt2 from source. Note that in that tutorial we have explained how to fix some errors that appear when trying to load the built-in tutorial files. Okay, so let's start. The tutorial that explains how to build MoveIt2 from source is given over here. I will also provide a link to that tutorial in the description below. However, let's start with coding. The first step is to open a terminal. To open a terminal window, click here and search for terminal. Here it is. Now, I will resize the terminal such that you can see it over here. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we need to check the Linux distribution. There are two ways to do that. The first way is to write this and you should see Ubuntu 22.04. Another approach is actually to type this. You'll simply display this file, OS release, and you should see Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, next we need to check the ROS2 distribution. This is very important to make sure that everything is properly set up. So go to this folder and over here I'm seeing Humble and Iron. This means that I have both Humble and Iron ROS2 distributions. However, in this tutorial I will use Humble. So let's try to source Humble, the setup.bash file. And if you don't see any error, that's a good sign. Then let's print our ROS2 distribution to make sure that we have Humble on our system. If you get Humble, this means that you are able to properly source this file and Humble is installed. However, next, let's verify that you have MoveIt2 on your computer. So, to check if you have actually MoveIt2, we need to make sure that you have the MoveIt2 folder installed or better to say created. So over here you can see that I have WS Move It 2 and this is basically a workspace folder for my Move It 2 project. And I explained how to create that folder in the previous video tutorial whose link is given in the description below. Next, we need to source this very important file from that folder. This will set up Move It 2 such that we can use it. Okay. Next, we need to run a demo file. Over here, we need to type ROS2 launch. This is a standard command. Movie 2 tutorials. We will load actually Movie 2 package that's being compiled together with compiling the complete Movie 2. 
and we will run this launch file demo.launch.py and we will set the rvis configuration file to be equal to panda robot the name of the file is given over here and consequently we need to execute this complete command note that this is actually one line don't be fooled by this new line over here it's simply a new line since everything cannot fit in a single line so but the command should look like look like this ROS2 launch movie tutorials this means that we are running from movie 2 tutorials package we are running demo.launch.py that's the name of the python launch file and we specify the type or configuration file for rvis and here it is so let's run this and after you run this go back to the terminal window and make sure there are no errors and over here you can see that actually i'm not having errors maybe i have some warning however i don't even think i have warning over here however inspect this this is very important okay so let's continue from here okay the first step is to show our robot to show our robot you need to click here on add and over here you need to add motion planning okay and click okay now wait here and after some time you should see the robot here it is here you see the instructions actually over here in this corner you will see instructions for left click for middle click for right click you will see what do they do so for example if i want to rotate the view i press and hold the left mouse button if i press the middle mouse button i can pull i can actually pan and if basically if I press the right mouse button and move the cursor left and right I can actually zoom in and zoom out over here you can see the main menu this is the displays menu and over here we'll have to make several adjustments make sure that the fixed frame is actually over here panda link zero this means that we are fixing the link zero that is we're fixing our robot to the floor for us, the next important option is this motion planning. And over here, you have to make sure that robot description is written over here, that planning scene topic is given over here, then expand scene geometry. Here, there is nothing interesting that we can play with for the time being. Then, click here on scene robot. We will play with this option later on. Then. The next important option is this planning request. So expand here and instead of planning group hand, select panda arm and you see immediately what happened over here. Suddenly we have an orange color. So what is an orange color and what are these spheres over here and these errors? Let's explain. Them. Well, first of all click over here and you will see your original robot representation this is the initial or fixed robot representation that we can turn on or turn off as we wish query goal state if i press this you will see that robot became orange however this is your desired or goal state and you can set the robot in the position you want if you want to manually move the robot you can press on this sphere and you can move the robot wherever you want for example here and this will be goal state or the destination state for motion planning on the other hand if you click here you will have query start state so again you can move here and this is your start state for motion planning so green color is the start state and the orange color is the destination state of course you can over here change the colors as you wish however don't play with this option for the time being okay so let's keep them active and over here now if you go back to scene robot you can click here to turn off your robot so turn on or turn off the robot this is basically neutral state of the robot so let's do this to avoid confusion okay we will come back to this option later on also while we are here to avoid confusion let's deselect this thing that we just play with the goal state 
Next, let's explain the robot motion mode. So what are the robot motion mode? If I take this green sphere and I move the robot, I'm basically moving the center of the end effector or the TCP tool center point to any position I want. So I can move the robot wherever I want. However, you also have another motion mode. You also have a linear motion mode. That is, if you press this arrow, you can move robot linearly like this. You can move robot along this axis and you can move the robot around along Z axis. So you can move it up or down. However, you also have another motion mode and that's a reorientation. So if I would now press this circle, you will see that you rotate the end effector around Z axis. However, the TCP point, the tool center point remains fixed. Or you can do something like this. So you're rotating the robot around the TCP, which is most likely located somewhere here. Let me now show you if I press the green circle, right? So we are rotating the robot around the point that's somewhere over here. Okay, now we also have the third or fourth motion mode and we have the joint motion mode. So if you click here, you can independently move every joint. You can move joint one, you can move joint two, you can move joint three, you can move joint four, five, six, etc. You can also do this. So this robot has seven degrees of freedom. Good. Let's continue. Next, we explain how to perform motion planning. That is how to generate a trajectory or motion from one state to another. That is from the goal, from the start state to the goal state. First of all, click here on planning, then activate this state, start state. So let's move and let's adjust the start state position. For example, let's start from here. And we want to move robot to this position. We need to do trajectory planning. Over here, move it can do it for you. So you don't need to worry about. However, there are several things that we need to adjust in this case. So click on panels and click on trajectory slider. Okay, now, once you set the start go start position and then position of the robot you need to click here on plan okay and after you do that you'll see that if you move this slider you'll see how the robot will move from one position to another you can see it over here and if you slide you can see the intermediate point now, if you click on plan and execute, the robot will actually move to that position. So if you click plan on execute, the robot will move to that position and it will update it. It will be updated after some time. Okay. Now, you see now it's being moved. Okay. So again, you can see the intermediate points, but there is another interesting option. Over here, you can see also all the states at the same time. So let's see how to do that. If you click here on plan path, you can click on show trail. And if you now reduce the trail size, for example, over here, you can say how many trail points you wanted to have. And then you can see actually how your robot goes from one position to another. That is, you can see a shadow, which is very useful to see for seeing intermediate positions. Here it is. And we have 80 intermediate positions. Over here, you can play with other options such as velocity scaling, scaling planning attempts, etc. You can also create animation, use simulation time, use other op options, etc. However, we are not going to cover them in this tutorial. Next, let's just do one more thing. So let's start from here. And you can now again plan and then run execute. And again, the robot went here and that's it. Over here, you can also again see the trail and you can see all the intermediate positions. 
Okay, this is all for today. Thanks for watching.